Okay, go for three grand. Today is a big day. We're going to our first ever storage unit auction that's live in person. We just pulled up, so we're gonna hop out, hopefully get a few previews, and then go spin on some units. There's 19 units going up for auction, so there's gotta be something for us to buy here. It's currently 9.30, uh, it's supposed to start at 10, so hopefully we'll get a little sneak peek of what's going on over here. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we picked up a unit. We got unit 1106 here. Uh, that was insane. He went crazy. Um, a lot bigger group than we thought. It's like 20 people just surrounding this one unit. Yeah, so uh, we saw a unit go for three grand. It was full of baseball cards, and we probably should have considered it more than we did. Because I was thinking about it. Each one of those boxes is probably like a couple thousand cards. And there was probably how many boxes? Four, five hundred boxes. It was a big, yeah, it was a big size unit like this, full of just baseball cards, like the boxes of them stacked high. Probably like five hundred boxes. If you're talking two thousand cards, you're probably talking over a million cards in there. Whatever. That's all right. We got this little unit. You're gonna see what's inside. It's definitely nothing special, but it was pretty cheap. We spent a whopping fifty dollars on this unit. <laughs> this unit, you know, it's not super promising, but. It's a unit. <laughs> nice, some destroyed old Jordans, if they're even real. We've had pretty bad luck with that. Look at this ornament. That's cute. So this is... DVD player, Samsung. Okay. Little insignia monitor. No base. Maybe the base is in there. We always use a spare monitor. We'll put that in here too. Oh yeah, these are fake. These are pirated DVDs. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like more Christmas. All Christmas stuff. Candy cane mess. I'd be really happy with some Marvel ones. Brahma. 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 Oh, dude. This is sweet. It's a sweet chair. Let me know when you're done. Oh. My. God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, speaking of, did you see the- Whoa, 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 whoa! Nice! Alright guys, a lightsaber. Didn't expect that. That's, that's fun. Do not touch. Neon chess. Hmm? Superman. Cute. dot AF. <laughs> it's like the meme, it's like, go to the thrift shop, find some fire clothing. <laughs> Alright. There's something in here. Dang it. Nice. Episode 1, playing cards. <laughs> iPhone 12. This is a one touch. Okay. Flamingo. All right. Nice. Tons of cash for sure. Oh, okay. We're talking change in here. Some moolah. These are good for Cindy's. My family owns a diner, so I bring the coloring books there for them to give to kids. Yeah, I don't know how, but this stuff is, smells terrible. How does this happen? Who lets their clothes get so smelly? Some random piece of furniture. Oh, it's a little chest. What's inside? A uh, bunch of junk. What's this? Gift cards. All right, Duncan gift card that is scratched, probably fully used. Another one, super cuts. Dunkin' Donuts. And a Visa that could have anything between 20 or 500. 
or not, and a super cut. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Oh man. So Chris, what do you think so far? It's not looking good. More clothing. Love to see it. Just haven't been recording. I don't know how long. Guys, and the best part is we have to take it off. Like, come on, what a deal. <laughs> All right, guys, so a good rule of thumb. Don't go to live auctions. Way too many people hanging out. Yeah, I want to see, like, when it's 45, it almost feels free. I don't know if that makes sense, but... You know what I mean, though? Because there's going to be one item for 45 bucks almost, right? Is there? We could uh, get some new seat covers for that. I don't think we should make a YouTube video out of this. I think it's got to be four minutes at most. We make that trip, we make one more, and then we make a third, and we're done. The unit videos are great, but I think we can pull a little more out of these units for content. Like, another video during the week, like I was saying, a five, six minute video at most, of like the stuff we sold throughout that week from units. Cause you're like at the end, we don't, it's not always sold item, it's listed and stuff. And then like do a little compilation of like, you know, after two, after a month maybe, we just like show all the items that we sold and what they sold for. All right guys, taking the final pictures here. Unit complete. I looked at it and I was like, that is gonna fall. How did this not? Chris just broke my favorite mug. <laughs> Truly every time I buy a unit, I'm strictly looking for only comic books. And I really don't want anything else inside. Yeah? Is that right? Yeah. Every time I come out of the house, honestly, goodness, I gotta make sure my middle fingers work so that way, just in case, I gotta flip somebody off. My downtown Providence, I said to the cop, have you seen my friend? He said, who's your friend? I said, I guess we ain't got the same friends, man. man. That was good. They popped in I'll my head, you. man. What just happened? All right, guys. We are out of here. That was a riot. Good old trip to U-Haul. Well guys, that's a wrap for our live auction experience. We're on our way home to unload the unit. Today was not as good as we were hoping. We ended up getting that unit, as you saw. We broke it down. It was underwhelming. Paid a crisp 45 bucks for the unit. I mean, yeah, we made our money. We got some stuff for profit, but nothing that's really fun or to write home about. No one's retiring. Coolest thing in my opinion, is I found my first comic book in a storage unit, which I'm very excited for. Um, but, you know, they can't always be winners, and that's all right. Uh, we're still going to include the price breakdown right here, so stay tuned and see where everything was worth.